the periodic table, the, you know, basically that the world is made up of 92 different kinds of atoms and that they're all listed on the periodic table, um, starting from the lightest hydrogen through to the heaviest uranium. Um, the interesting thing is that they already knew part of that and they, they know that atoms are really small. So there's a, lot of, there's a platform to build upon, even in primary school. We ended up talking about um, elements which are substances that are made up of just one kind of atom. Like the air that we're breathing at the moment is mi a mixture of atoms, oxygen and nitrogen. So we've got a kit full of um, substances that are made up of just one kind of atom and they were able to, to play with those and observe them and record what they're like. We've got some hydrogen, hydrogen and helium balloon over there which are the two lightest elements and they're able to understand that um, that some atoms are lighter than other atoms. And it's palpable that you can see these balloons going up to the ceiling. Uh, I think they'll float up. Yeah. But I think, considering what we saw earlier, the hydrogen will probably go a bit further. Yeah. Up and faster. <laughs> it's a matter of them um, being able to have the hands-on approach and being explained to them in a clear way. And it's very fast. Within one and a half hours, they are writing chemical molecular formula and uh, creating complex molecules. I think it's a great um, opportunity for Australia to to be able to implant these ideas early, so that they become internalised within kids' minds over over a period of time. When they reach grade nine, then this will become second nature. They will be quite familiar with the idea of atoms and molecules. The other thing is that atomic theory underlies all of the other sciences. So by referring, constantly referring back to atomic theory, they're able to unify all of the other learning experiences they have.